Hello students and story lovers. Today, this is Pranesh Kumar Misra and I have brought before you a very interesting story. The title of the story is The Man Who Knew Too Much. I repeat, The Man Who Knew Too Much. And uh, this is written by Alexander Barons. Alexander Barons story the man who knew too much is very common story that is your or my story or everybody's story in every society we see that there are some persons around us who always want to specify or deliver speeches but when you want to say something they don't want to listen. The theme of this story is also the same. That is, be a patient listener. And suppose anybody just started a story of any king or even a story that is uh, over repeated like thirsty crow. So, don't say that I know the story. It is just like, suppose you have watched any movie and you are very much excited to say about the development of the plot of that movie the actions what happened next to your friend please don't say if your friend is watching the movie first time or in your office like environment or wherever you work your workplace you have knowledge but don't give uncalled advice let us see for example this will be very useful for CBSC class 9. This will be the second chapter for them. And if you will watch my video and listen and the gist, the theme of the story, this will be very helpful to imprint the story in your mind. So whatever notes I have prepared, I am reading before you. Listen carefully. So once again, be a patient listener. It pays in life is thematic line. It is the story of a person. It is the story of a person called Private Quells. Private Quells. A lanky, stooping and a frowning man through horn-rimmed spectacles. His appearance and his habit to deliver a detailed lecture over a topic shows Two things. Number one, his knowledge, he is a knowledgeable person. Second, his behavior is just like a professor who go on giving the lecture. So, he was nicknamed also professor. He was nicknamed professor. One reason was due to his look, wearing glasses. And another was that his lecture. He was a very keen observer of anything, very good reader, a knowledgeable person, but due to one habit that I already said that he was not a patient listener, how he loses in his, his life that we are going to share. So, mind the words. Thus, he was nicknamed Professor. At an arming, army training depot, at an army training depot, Private Quills was a soldier without rank. And due to his knowledge, everybody around or surrounding him thought that very soon he will get the rank. He said he had an intelligent reading over various topics. During a training, a sergeant was describing a function of a rifle. A rifle. The mechanism of a rifle and when he starts when the sergeant said the velocity of a bullet is 2000 feet per second then encroaching in his field and without listening further our hero of the story private quails says interrupted that sir it is 2440 feet per second. He corrected his trainer's 
dialogue his trainer's knowledge because he said that he had intelligent reading and the trainer frowns at him but he continues he was no doubt very sincere his virtues qualities his means private quels nickname professor his virtue and quality was really nice he borrowed training manuals from his friends and read them in detail really he had the depth of knowledge on various topics without doubt and uh, one more quality he had his salute his salute to the pay table was a model to behold so he was grasping and taking the training very seriously very sincere he was very knowledgeable he was but see uh, despite being all the qualities and when he was deprived of one quality only he was not a patient listener sometime it so happened that when you know many things you have many information then your stomach is boiling where to vomit my knowledge and uh, you miss or i miss when uncalled advice we start to give we are disliked and how we suffer in the life the story is about the same so students or story lover uh, enjoy the story further what the development in the story what happens but whenever anybody made a mistake while doing anything whenever anybody made a mistake he had publicly corrected him you are wrong here this should be like this this should be like that and all that so on. soon very soon people began to avoid his company such type of fellow who always gives suggestions and is never agree with anyone and very much knowledgeable then people sometime began hatred for that from that person he retorted to another trainer also once again called corporal turnbull corporal turnbull was there uh, in the training depot once again to give the training on grenade the bomb grenade the trainer said the outside of a grenade is divided he has started to say about the grenade meanwhile before he could complete his dialogue our professor so called professor put his nose there also he said that into 44 segments sir there he should have listened carefully but he corrected him and said further the trainer said nothing he wanted to resume his points he wanted to say further he had a look on private quills and further he wanted to say just he opened his mouth to say something and once again our professor private quills began to say about grenade that is like this and by the way corporal you shouldn't have started with the characteristic of grenade you must have started with the characteristics first corporal corporal says you give the lecture i am going you come you give the lecture gentlemen corporal further says the platoon officer has asked me to nominate one of you for he pauses and he looks once again towards our professor so called and the private quills and then he paused looks at private quills and continues for permanent cook house duties mind the words cook house duties i have decided that private quills is just the man for the job see he was on the peak of the mountain and now he was on the ground he was waiting for the rank in as an army officer but he was made an in charge of cook house 
the kitchen the mains see the fall only due to he was a bad listener he was impatient he had overconfidence and his problem was that he could not stop himself when somebody speaking before him he always corrected the person even the trainers even his bosses his seniors very soon professor was heard to the writer since writer is narrating baron is narrating the story and he was one of the soldier a familiar voice from the kitchen now he could be heard professor could be heard a voice was coming from the kitchen and the voice was the lecture on yes i protest unscientific and unhygienic method of peeling potatoes there also he got the chance to deliver the dialogues specifying the moments and topics on how to peel potato means there also he is showing his knowledge in the kitchen it was a matter of great, great laughter for the person who were outside listening and the writer closes the story saying that we fled means writer and other persons who were listening his voice from there they fled from there because they feared that now after his lecture he will come out and he will find us and he will start his another set of lectures thus ends the story and the theme of the story while i recommend you to go through line by line so that you can catch the beautiful useful vocabs that uh, baron has used here and friends this is your story this is my story this is our story we must be a patient listener we never be should be over confident confident and never give uncalled advice before you are asked to